Hey guys, I'm here today to review the Kame Photo Light Stabilizer System, rated at 2.5 to 15 kilograms or 5.5 to 33 pounds. This camera system can be purchased at www.kame-tv.com. Put that website up for you. Um, the weight of this system makes it perfect for cameras uh, around the weight of, think like a Red Epic. You build up a Red Epic rig on this sled, you're gonna be in the sweet spot of the, what this can handle, which is probably around 18 pounds or so. Um, I have flown something as light as a 7D and a 5D Mark III in the last week that I've had this, and both of them did perfectly great. Uh, I had my preferences building up the sled for what I liked weight-wise, but I found with my small HD DP6 on there, and the I used like three or four of the weight plates on the bottom, I was able to get it balanced out pretty well, and I was very happy with it but that is on like the bare minimum lightweight you can run on this. If you have anything lighter than that, like maybe a, an HV30 or something else, this isn't the stabilizer for you, um, unless you add a weight cage or something. Whole different topic. What I'm gonna try to do in this video is run through um, as briefly as possible to just give my opinion on the quality, the materials and everything. When I was looking for a stabilizer system to purchase myself, I'd used a handful in, in the past from rentals and friends, um, all of that, but uh, I wanted one to buy. When I found this, it looked great, but I didn't have much information, so this is my attempt to kind of relay my experience with the system to you guys. So uh, we'll start out with the, we'll cover all the main components. We'll start out with the vest. Now the vest is awesome. I was very impressed with this. The, uh, the whole chest plate is made of steel. All of the rivets, um, the buckles even, steel. Everything else, uh, it's either steel or aircraft grade aluminum. Um, I'll go ahead and pop this on just to show you guys how it's kind of simple to slide into. All right. I had this adjusted to sit on the table, so I'm gonna have to mess with it just a little bit to get it back to fitting my body, but it's good for our intents and purposes. There we go. And this is way too short on me right now. There we go. All right, as you can see, this is not good right now. So I'm gonna take this all steel adjustment bolt, unscrew it, this is the locking bolt, and then I'm gonna lift on this underneath it, and miraculously, this very smoothly and simply slides down. I can lock that into place for my height. I'm six foot two, 185 pounds. Um, towards the taller range of this, it fits me like a glove. Love this vest. Um, the center column is a really high grade, thick steel, everything on it, well made, well built. Um, all of these uh, straps can be adjusted for tightness and then they Velcro down, but they're, they're all buckled. Um, another cool thing to, worth mentioning about this, all of the foam inserts and everything for the padding have zippers and you can add padding or remove it as you see fit compared to your body type. Um, depending on what you want to do, you can even remove the foam that comes with it, use it as a template to make your own stuff to put in if you so desire. Um, going over the components of this, one of the main things that we're going to look at is the arm that has our socket block on it. And this is where it attaches to the rig. This is a very important part of the vest. I was very pleased with this when I found out how many features it actually had. It had all the professional things that I would expect from a rig um, in the professional market. So uh, we have two knobs that control our fore and aft positions and that lets us put this socket block at an angle and control where our rig stays at rest. We also have the side to side for levels um, at the socket block. Those are controlled by these two metallic rings. Everything on here is pretty well made. We'll move on to the next section which is one of the most important sections. That's the dual ISO arm. This dual ISO arm, keeping in theme with everything else, is very high, high quality. It's all thick, well-made metals, aircraft-grade aluminum. Locks in with a pin right here. Um, I was very impressed when I saw the quality and thickness of all of the components of this arm. 
The dual ISO has great springs in here. Everything that could be on a bearing is on a bearing. All these are stainless steel sealed bearings. Um, make it glide very smoothly. It's toolless adjustments. So you have knobs right here. Put that at a slight incline. Then you can smoothly adjust it like butter. If you have it up too high with no tension on it, it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to turn that knob. So make sure you get just a little bit of incline on it and you'll be fine. Moves super smooth, very quiet, awesome arm. Uh, sometimes in packaging, these things can dry out a little bit. Uh, well, mechanical things in general. Um, I hit mine in a couple of joints with some WD-40, and it is one of the smoothest arms I've ever worked with. This post right here is stationary, locks into place really well. Um, moving on to the next part, I hang this up. Came with this docking bracket. The docking bracket is an awesome addition because it allows you to use this balancing peg to get your static and dynamic balance. It's got a hanger for your do ISO arm and it's also got the docking area for the sled. It's about a half inch thick, high quality steel, very nice steel bolts with hex heads that are holding it down. And then I've got mine sitting on a, a heavy duty light stand that I, I had lying around. This is the last component I'm gonna cover. And this is probably the most important component of all of them. I love this sled, I was very impressed by it. In the quickest way I can describe it, it exceeded all my expectations. First thing I did was throw a quick release plate on the top, you'll probably wanna do the same. If you have any experience balancing on any of the Wildies or the Glidecam HD 2000, 4000 series, you know how much of a pain in the butt it can be to adjust these sleds, not with this one. We have high quality metal knobs, we turn those once here, once here, and we have full adjustment side to side and fore and aft with markings on the sides and back so that we know exactly where we have it when we're balancing. This makes balancing easy, so convenient. So have that, which makes it awesome. We also have one of my biggest selling points, distribution block right here. This distribution block has SDI, HDMI, and DC power all runs through this matte carbon fiber finished center pole and comes out the bottom. It's pre-cabled. You have a D-tap, you have a video cable and an HDMI. Mine's running into my small HD DP6, which is attached to the supplied monitor bracket. All of this is adjustable up and down. All of it has high quality hardware. We have a steel wing nut up and down adjustment right here. Let's you balance a little bit easier. And we have the weight systems that are supplied with it as well. The other accessories that are worth mentioning for this are the low mode bracket is included and uh, also big time helper uh, for all of those, all of you out there that use the V-mount batteries like the IDX and the Global Media Pros. We have an awesome battery plate right here that goes on the 15 millimeter um, and it is, it's got its own on off switch and it is also equipped with a bunch of inputs right here. We have five volts, 7.2 volts, 12 volt DC, and we have a DTAP power. So we've got all of that right there. You can use that in place of the weights when you're using the batteries. Quick balance sled, love this thing. Um, just been very happy with the quality of customer service I've received through this whole purchase. I was working with a guy named Joey over at uh, came-tv.com and he made sure that I got this rig super fast and just took great care of me. Um, it was great communication throughout the whole thing. So I highly recommend them and I'd like to give them a shout out. Um, just say thank you very much for all of your help on this and making it a, an easy, painless purchase. Um, I'm gonna leave you guys with some of the footage that I shot with the rig and hopefully you enjoy it. So uh, again, you can find this rig at www.came-tv.com.
Thank you.